It's unprecedented. That's what leaders from both sides of the aisle are saying when it comes to President Biden's vaccine mandate. Everyone talking about this today. Yesterday, President Biden announced employers with 100 or more workers are required to have their employees either vaccinated or tested for COVID weekly. That could impact 80 million Americans. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us now in the studio. So, Kirsty, what are local and federal lawmakers telling you? Well, Lori, like most things in politics, it depends on what side of the aisle they're on. One side says it's government overreach. The other side says if this is what needs to be done to stop the pandemic, then President Biden has every right. The specifics are still being ironed out, but opponents across the country and here in Tennessee are preparing to put up roadblocks. We're taking steps on the state level. There's much conversation about what our steps are going to be in, re in rejecting the uh, federal mandates. That's the viewpoint from the right. On the left, it just makes sense if the government is giving you money that, that they should be able to ask you and your employees to um, to to, uh, to in this case take take the uh, the vaccine. Both sides of the aisle agree it's a big step. You don't have a worldwide pandemic, but pandemic, but once a century, so you have to take some pretty drastic actions, and th this is one. But it's the right action to take. You go through the legislative process, right, wrong, or indifferent, it's a totally different conversation. We're talking about the executive overreaching well beyond what the Constitution allows him to do. President Biden sees this as protecting the nation, not ideology. This is not about freedom or personal choice. But State Representative Jason Zachary, a Republican, sees a broader issue. And for him, it matters a lot. In terms of the bigger picture, this is much bigger than a vaccine. It just happens to be the vaccine we're talking about. Again, what's the next executive order or rule going to force us to do? I mean, this is not a political issue. So I don't see how this becomes partisan. Representative Sam McKenzie, a Democrat, says it shouldn't be partisan. He doesn't see it as an issue of control, and he agrees with the president focusing on safety. We're not talking about, you know, a tax here or even like a Medicaid expansion. This is a sickness. People are dying every day. Now, Representative Zachary says the GOP is calling for Governor Lee to hold a special session so the legislature can stop these mandates from happening in the state. He's also asking for businesses to reach out to him so they can make a game plan if legal action is necessary.